Hey everyone, it's Joe and it's AS from the Automator. And in this video, you're gonna see how to easily send Unicode characters in any editor if you're in. And if you stick around to the end one, we'll give you a download, which will actually give you code. It'll bring up a GUI and show you how to set a hotkey and give you the code to put in your script. But we're also gonna show you a cool built-in Windows tool in Windows 10 plus that uh, maybe circumvents this a little, but uh, you know, honestly, I think it's better to have a hotkey assigned if you're using a lot of these keys regularly, it's better to have a hotkey built for this. So. Is that that's right. Um, we we by the way, I found the beginnings of this tool online. And was it is a hound? Is that who? It, yes, uh, that is correct. The the okay. guy who created the script, uh, well, the function itself, is called is a hound. What we did was adding a GUI component to it, and uh, also to allow you to it will copy uh, some auto hotkey code to your clipboard that you can easily paste into your uh scripts later on and that's what i'm going to show you so right now if we run the script it will just ask you to paste your character or you can type it of course and then select a hot key for your character so let's say uh, a tilde character like this in some encodings and some types of files it would display funny so it would not be you know correct so what happens is that uh, what we're going to do is assign a hotkey. It could be anything. Now, remember, with this type of controls, you cannot use the Windows key. But if you want to use the Windows key as a hotkey, you can check this up, say the A, and say OK. But let's just go with a normal hotkey right now. I say OK. And what is going to happen is that it's just going to tell you what the name of the character is. But it's going to copy this to your clipboard. This whole line here is going to be copied to the clipboard, which you can then just go ahead and paste in any auto hotkey uh, script. And whenever you press Control A, it's going to send the tilde key. And let's just go ahead and do this. Let me just run it in my tool like this. And now, instead of having to type Alt-164, which is what I usually do, uh, I just do control A and it would send the tilde key. And the funny thing is that it's gonna work <laughs> in all editors uh, alike. So it is a very easy way, not only to get the Unicode character that you're looking for, right? Because it's gonna give you this Unicode U plus F1, which is the Unicode character for it. But it allows you to just paste the code straight into an auto hotkey script right away. So go ahead. Um Share your desktop again real quick, just since yours is zoomed in. And, yep. and the, so the built-in Windows 10 tool, it's Windows, and you can hit Windows period, or Windows yes. semicolon, which is, I don't know. No, why. no, the, the, the Windows period, yeah. So okay. that would... Do the Windows semicolon. Uh, oh, okay, let me try that. Uh, I have never used that. Oh, I didn't know that that worked. <laughs> so I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah, but, well, you can yeah. either put the, so, the period and the semicolon. You can then go looking for you know what it is you want. Um, right. And these are mostly emojis, you know, and, and whatnot. So it's convenient. However, you could copy, you know, click here, get the code. Now you have the code. You could uh -huh. cut it, go back to our tool and assign a hotkey. You could cut it from there. Uh -huh. So oh, let me try that. So what happens is we just do this, paste something. Right. Now I want that to be it's a hotkey. Right. So I just paste that here, select, let's say control A again. Oh, right, control A already has one. <laughs> so I hit okay. It will tell me the Unicode code for it and the name. Right. And now I can just go ahead and do the same as I did before, which is paste and actually, now if I run this, whenever I paste the control T, it would paste it into the uh, oh, your editor. Right. Editor. So, so my editor is not looking at it, but it is there. Actually, if I go to VS Code and right. sorry, and I paste Control T here, it right. will definitely do it. But the thing is, the editor must be able to display it. Most editors are configured that way. Nowadays. My no, but my built-in editor that we were looking at, I hadn't configured it. That's why it didn't show yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you grab this and paste it, for example, on Facebook. Or Twitter or whatever other web page, I, I assure you it's going to work just fine. So it's, it allows you to quickly get that code to set it up on your scripts. And now you don't have to be looking for it. It would automatically just use your hotkey for it. Yeah. So I, I've assigned like, the, you know, that really bright red exclamation point, the yeah. red question mark, 
um, the 100 underlined, you know, a bunch of these that I use a lot to help draw attention. I've assigned those to a hotkey instead of looking them up every time. Cause I'm like, why yeah. am I looking these up every time? It's ridiculous. <laughs> that yeah. is right. That is right. If you want this script, um, you can go to this URL over my head. It's basically the automator slash Unicode lookup and uh, get the download. And again, it's just going to copy the code to your clipboard after you run it. Then you put it into whatever script that you're, you know, you could have it on its own, right? But probably we, we just wanted to give you something a little simpler for people that are new to AutoHotKey is a simple way to do this. What to get to the more complicated part is, as Zayas mentioned earlier, sometimes people do this and they save it locally. Um, what happens is that file is like an ANSI file. It's not Unicode. And when you go to save it, it doesn't know what to make out of the thing that you saved, right? It, it confuses it. And then when you try to send it, that's why it's not the right thing right? Because right. the, the file. This way, as you can see in the text of what we did in our example, there is no Unicode character in what we're putting into the script, which is why... No, so so yeah, that is right. What you're sending is not... Yeah, so this part here right. is not an Unicode character per se. It's just normal text that represents a Unicode character. So if you have this script and you save it as an ANSI file, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whenever you run it, it will send the correct uh, Unicode character. In this case, it would be the taxi emoji. So it circumvents that issue very yeah. easily. So um, what I'd love for you to do is one, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video. It really helps us out. And also, after you map your first character, you know, put it into the comments to tell us yeah. what you mapped, right? <laughs> there you go, yeah. I, I love, love seeing how people use the stuff. And, and I know there's going to be a huge time saver. So yeah. hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you.